today is reception day. Honestly, it's the day we've been waiting for this whole couple months because it is the day we can finally relax and chill out and party. Honestly, what can go wrong today? What can go wrong? It's a reception day. We are very, very late. We're trying to get my suspenders on. Jazz is getting ready in a different room. We've been running around all day. Although I did spend all morning doing the seating chart instead of getting ready, I canceled my hair appointment because I had a million things to do, so. That was great. Getting ready for me is easy. I just took a shower, did my hair. That took me maybe seven minutes. I've never worn suspenders before in my life, but here we are. I have no idea what I'm doing. I got this green spot on my shirt. Who cares, right? Who cares? Yeah. Next day edit. When are we showing it? In like three hours. Like finished yeah. right before the reception. It's okay, Harji used to edit at the reception. It is 4.50. Manip is doing my makeup and my hair. She She's hasn't so even tired. done her makeup yet. <laughs> Shout out to her, man. As the sister of the groom. She was spending a lot of time with Brian. <laughs> you saw my sister more than I saw my sister. Sorry about that. She's mine now. We're just out here being late. And I told everyone, I'm like, you gotta be on time. And look at me, I'm not even on time myself. I know Jazz is gonna be late. I knew this from the beginning. I knew this since July. Pretty cute, right? Yeah, it's pretty cute. My boy. I can't tell you which I'm tired. Choke me up. <laughs> you put me in your will or what? <laughs> no, no, no. And we're done. How's it looking? Amazing. Thank you. You ready to party now? I'm hyped. I'm high key trying to get drunk right now, but I can't start drinking without Jax. Hello, Hi, Mike. Hi, you look so you're handsome. So thank you, thank you. Almost done, I promise. Can I go pee? Yo, it's good. I'm right. literally gonna die. First drink of the night, y'all. Small one, half shot. So, the thing is, right, I tried to wait. Oh, yeah. It's a tequila kind of night, though, man. This is a cake. It's not even done yet. Cool. Very cool. Oh, that's fire. That's my that's cute. That's gonna make me cry. Okay. okay. Oh, shit. That's worse. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's sick. It. Yo. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> Yo, this is like the best bedroom I've ever, like, had taken a beat. Oh, okay, something done. I can't have this. Yeah, so I need to be a little looser. So if you don't know about the dress fiasco, I couldn't get my reception dress zipped up. And I found this out on Monday and today is Saturday. I found a seamstress last minute. I got her to kind of cut half my dress open and add a corset tie top. So that's what we did. It looks beautiful. I love it. Harjit loves it. It turned out amazing. So the leche martini doesn't even taste like a leche martini. This is not weird. We're late. 545 on the dot. I'm so sorry. How do we like the dress? We love it. We love it. We love the dress. We love the person in the dress. And where are my shoes? So oh, no, they're loose. That's why we're going to double tie to tape these up here, too. So now we're finally ready. We're super late. We're as late as we can possibly be. But we got to take some pictures. <laughs> so we're having our cocktail hour in a completely different location where we're having our reception. It's the same building, but different rooftops. So this is the rooftop we actually got married on. And the vibe was like old Hollywood. We have a live singer with a pianist. The vibe is just like peaceful. Like the sun is setting. It's like perfect. We had Polaroid cameras. You take a picture and you post it in the guest book and then you sign your name. So it's like we have a picture of everybody and then they're signing their names. Cute little moment. Taking it, taking some more pictures, taking some Polaroids, doing all kinds of stuff. But we didn't get to eat the food. They tell you. They always tell you. They're like, you're not going to get to eat the food at your wedding. They were right. Listen to them. We went out of our way to get the best food money could buy. But did me and Jazz get to have it? No. We're about to see the venue for the first time. So far, it looks amazing. Amazing. Really good. Oh my oh. god. <gasps> it looks so pretty. That's fire. Literally, my vision came to life. Oh my god. I think we had hands down the most beautiful wedding in the whole entire world. And I am not being biased. Jazz's vision was completed exactly how she wanted it to be. Shout out to our florist and our decor company, Rebel Fleurs Event Design. Oh my God. She did an amazing job. Oh, it looks exactly how we wanted it. Wow. No crying. I know, I'm gonna cry. Good job, look at the chandeliers. Oh my God, it looks so good. Yes. And the chandelier backdrop. I hate backdrops. I don't know why, I just like always hated them. I was like, okay, no backdrop, but I wanted chandeliers. And so we couldn't figure out where to put the chandeliers. And then I came up with the idea. Like I literally drew this 
on paint on Harjit's phone for our lighting guy. I was like, hey, can you do a chandelier backdrop for me? Like got wood, put it together, got the chandeliers. I told him exactly where I want them. He made this thing for me at a very reasonable price. <laughs> now pull her in here. When? Pull her in here, Dizzy. <laughs> We have no idea where our DJ went, but thankfully Jazz is a DJ. You know. There you go. Uh, uh, what song you want? All right, uh, all right, I got, nah. I got you. Oh, let me, I just got EQ that. No, no request, no, no, no. Good thing I know how to use this. Watch this. Come on. I did that shit, you see that? Are you not entertained? I did that shit. Are you not entertained? Hey. Disco balls. No way. Yes, you brought them. She came through with the disco balls. This is all Jazz wanted this whole time, disco balls. All I wanted was disco and balls. And we got them. You know why I want disco balls? I saw somebody do this, and I was like, yo, I want that picture. Oh no, no pictures, please. No pictures. I'm so happy. We all were here, about to do a walk-in. I got the bride and the groom. Get my sister out here. Marvelous Me and Jazz do a lot of things last minute. So the day of the reception, we realized we had no MC. So what do we do? I hit up my brother-in-law, Inc. I'm like, yo, guess what? You're the MC. Let's all raise a glass because we have been waiting for this very special moment. And with that said, I would love to introduce to you the wonderful couple, Jazz and Harjeet. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our reception. Thank you guys so much for coming. So we did things a little differently. Actually, we stole this from our friend Grimminder. Me and Harji entered first because we felt that this moment was more for our parents. That's like the day that they were waiting for us since we were born. They were like, we cannot wait for this child to get married. <laughs> Welcome, Jazz and Haji, or Harji. <laughs> I'm not good at speeches, so I wrote it down. Mine's gonna be really quick. Jazz is gonna be like half an hour, so we're just gonna get through mine real quick. I wanna thank everyone for being here. For the people that came from out of town, I know it wasn't the cheapest thing to do. For the people that live here, thank you as well, you know, obviously. That was kind of you to come out. I wanna thank my mom and dad. Where's my mom and dad? Right there. I want to thank my mom and dad for raising me, for helping me with everything, uh, for believing in me. I know I haven't been the easiest son to, you know, have. I hope I made you proud in the process, you know? And then I want to thank my new dad, dad number two over there. The kindest, sweetest person I've ever met. I've never seen him mad in my life, never seen him angry. He's just happy all the time. I want to thank Paul. I just want to thank Paul for being Paul. You can't, you can't describe this guy. He's just Paul. He's good at everything, you know? So, Paul, I love you, man. My sister, big sis over there. I wouldn't be here without my sister. You know, she taught me so much. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Hold on. Hold on. Let's chill out. Let's chill out. Let's chill out. There's so much more I can say. You know, I love you. I know I have another mom and another brother up there. So, I just wanted to give them a shout out and I know they're looking down on me. I forgot about Ink. I skipped over ink, that's my bad. But best brother-in-law, he's done so much, he's helped me so much. We've traveled the world together, all kinds of stuff. So shout out to you, brother, I love you. And we're gonna have a good night. We're gonna get turned up. That's all I gotta say. I love all of you. I'm at Brampton Crew over there, you already know that. And over there. <laughs> Thanks, RJ, I love you too. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. This was not rehearsed. I wasn't like Harji purposefully forget me. I was writing my speech in my hotel room and right when I got to the part where I'm supposed to talk about jazz, I got distracted by alcohol. Who forgets to mention their wife? I'm lucky jazz is still here with me, to be honest. <laughs> I wasn't done my speech. I wasn't done. Let's relax, God. I'm not perfect. I love you. I'm not good at being sentimental, so I'll tell you, you know, all this stuff later, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite person. You know this. Would you like anything else? No? Okay. Um, I, I'm in trouble. You've been married for like five minutes. That was a long speech, surprisingly. Yeah, good for you. Good for, let's give, give it up for Harji. He was, he was so nervous about this speech. Let's give it up for Harji. 
I pretty much want to say the exact same things. Like, thank you all so much for coming. Honestly, so many of you, all, 90% of you came from out of town. And like that honestly means so much to us that you guys took a week out of your life to come here and celebrate with us. That like really means a lot. I just wanted to thank my new mom and dad <laughs> for accepting me. It's been eight amazing years. I don't even feel different being married to Harju because I feel like we've already been family. So thank you. Love you dad and my brother like the light of my life the reason I'm here like my dad is my shining light he's been through so much and he let me do whatever I want shout out to my dad for letting me do whatever I want I know it's hard to raise a girl and um he did a lot of my adult life by himself and he did it I hopefully a great job and I really hope he's proud of me but um I love you so much dad and Paul my best friend Literally, he walks in a room and he makes everyone smile. I think he outshone me this week. I had to convince him to change his outfit because his his first suit was the same color as mine. Uh, but I love you, Paul, and like my whole family for being here. And Mandeep, my best friend. Short story, Mandeep and I were in the same lacrosse team together in ninth grade and we had no idea and now we're sisters. The sisters, like the minute Harjeet's mom came home and he shoved me into her room and was like, pretend that Jazz is your friend. <laughs> uh, instant best friends and Ink, I've known you the same time. I've known Harjeet and Mandeep and it's just been an instant family and I feel so accepted. Um, and obviously Harjeet, shout out for being my best friend. My rock, love you so much. I'll tell you all that stuff later because clearly you don't want the world to know. I know most of you know that my mom and my brother could not be here with us today. Um, so shout out to them for being the light of my life and being the angels. They're the reason I am where I am today. So thanks mom. Thanks bro. Jazz's speech was like the emotional version of my speech. Way better than my speech, obviously. But I'm actually surprised because Jazz did not go on for 20 minutes, which I was thinking she was going to. Hers was like five minutes. Good job. That's a good length. No one wants to hear a 20 minute speech. I know, I didn't do 20 minutes. That's what I'm saying. Who is this guy? He had one job, just to say, I love you. I'm crying now. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that Harji's sister? I can't is she really Harji's sister? I'm We're about to take shots right now. Baby, let's go to the bar. I might have had one too many shots here and there. We're not keeping count today. It's my wedding. 50 50. That's the wedding right there. Light work, boy. I just wanted the champagne tower for pictures, but uh, it was a shit show. Wait, why is it on the other side? <laughs> 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 the pictures turned out really good. Now we're gonna get some people from both sides. Whoa! Nothing has gone wrong so far. And then we find out that our dance floor is slippery. Slippery to the point where you cannot dance on it. I'm good, I'm good. Slippery as dance floor. Shout out to Rain for being a good sport. He's okay, by the way, if you guys were wondering. He's not injured, thankfully. So Rain, our friend Rain, our homeboy Rain, he does this for a living, and I don't even know why we didn't even ask him to host our wedding. So he was like, hey, do you want to do a game at your wedding? If I say something, right, like go find this, you guys go find it in the audience and come back to a chair. By the time you come back, one chair will be gone. A driver's license, go! Shout out to my dad, man. My dad was killing this game. Where's the kiss? They are not Did he get a kiss? Can he but get a kiss? Did he get a kiss? Okay, I'm gonna give it to this no. my man. He had someone else's belt going. He was passionate. And then when he finally lost at the end, man, his heart was broken, man. <laughs> 
The final object that you need to come back with is a piece of toilet paper. Go! Alright y'all, we are on the next level. We're in the clouds in LA on the highest peak you could think of. The, it literally could not get higher. And we're making noise to let the whole of the LA know. We let them know. That it's my boy over here. That the Amandim. The grand finale. Are, are married. The, the most pinnacle of pinnacle things. The he, peak? Let's be real, we spent some pee on this thing, I ain't gonna lie. The, the peak? The, the, the pound sterling. I love you guys. Yeah. Jazz loves you guys. Jazz She's does. over there somewhere. I'm vibing. Ink loves you guys. I love you guys. Mandeep loves you guys. Mandeep loves you guys. We're gonna see you guys soon. Big up. Make sure you subscribe. Always. Make sure you like. Always. Peace, Peace out, y'all. Hey, hey.